Let's install filters into Photoshop Elements. Filters come with an extension of .abf. There are a lot of really awesome filters out there and uh, if you just look for you know free filters on the internet you can find them and they're really fun to play with and, and some of them are really vital to Photoshop using Photoshop Elements to do um, things uh, that the program's not normally supposed to do. Uh, you can install it here in this path as I have in my tutorial um, that you can get on the internet. Uh, I do not recommend putting it in this uh, folder though because of RAM issues. I say this in many of my tutorials, be careful how many things you install into Photoshop Elements because it will make the program harder to open. It may will take it a lot longer to open. The better alternative for installing filters into PSE is to create another folder and I have one here that I have created. It's called fl Filter Plugins and in it I have a few filters and they can even be in the subfolders. See this is a Cybia subfolder and then underneath that are several that I have from Cybia. And uh, Simple Filters is the same way and here's the .abf files. And what you want to do is point Photoshop Elements to this folder. Um, now if you put all of your filters in this separate folder and put it somewhere within your hard drive that w it will get backed up, uh, you'll have those if you ever have to reinstall um, Photoshop Elements or upgrade Photoshop Elements. Um, you're going to have them uh, handy and backed up and you won't have to go all over the internet to find them again. So in Photoshop Elements, and I've got Photoshop Elements 7 open here, I've got instructions for uh, several versions in the tutorial and, and they're all very similar. If you go to the Edit drop down menu, Preferences, and then Plugins, you'll see uh, this pop-up box and you will check mark this box and when you do so this box will pop up and ask you to browse to a folder and you can see that I have browsed to already and pointed it to this folder which I showed to you earlier and then click OK and then OK again and then shut the program down and restart it. Now I've already done that. In order to see if your filters are there and to test them you have to make sure that you open up a new document otherwise they will be grayed out. And here's the filter drop down menu at the top. When I click on it you'll see them installed down here. Here's all those simple ones grouped together that um, we showed you here and there they all are grouped together and then you can uh, simply click on, click on them and uh, and run them from there. Now back to my tutorial though I do have a great suggestion that I that I recommend that you do. Um, if you put a tilde character and it looks like this and it's in the upper left hand corner usually right next to the one uh, key on your keyboard. Um, you'll see this tilde character and you have to hit your shift key to use it and if you go, let's go back, you can put that tilde character as the name of any file or folder. So let's say I wanted to keep all of the simple filters um, from loading when I started Photoshop Elements because I'm not using them right now. Simply you click on the name to rename it and stick that tilde right there in front of it. And when Photoshop Elements starts, it will ignore every folder or file 
that has a tilde in front of it. It's pretty handy and then that then your program's going to load a lot faster. And let's say you know you're going to be starting on a project and you really want to use those simple filters. You can go in and simply rename this file before you start Photoshop Elements and then it will be available once again in this drop down menu. And that is pretty handy. Now um, there is, let's go back to my tutorial, uh, one uh, filter and actually there's more than one but there's one in particular that most people do not utilize that that comes with Photoshop Elements and if you go and put a tilde in front of it rather than deleting it um, it also will save you a little RAM. In this image graphic here I show you the path where it is in Photoshop Element 6 and it has a different path in Photoshop Element 7 and I put that right here in this written tutorial. So you can go and um, see I haven't um, taken it out yet but it's right here it's called Digimark and you can keep that from starting um, when you begin your program. And here I put at the bottom of the written tu tutorial um, some of these favorite uh, filters for digital scrapbookers, but certainly just do a search on the line. Um, there's probably some more marked um, at my site on the links page. Uh, you, you can find a whole bunch of these out there uh, that will work with Photoshop Elements. Just make sure that you um, you use that tilde uh, in order to keep them from installing and direct it to your folder. I did not use caps there. There. Just remember to use this system and, and to only unmark them as uh, you're going to be using them uh, when you get ready to start your project before you open up Photoshop Elements. So I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial and if you have any questions certainly come into the forums and ask. I'll be glad to try to help as I can.